Hello everyone, Darlene here from D Victoria Virtual Assistance. This video is going to show you how to add music to your audio production or your podcast. It's a question I get asked often. Basically, it's, hey Darlene, how do I add music to my podcast? I want to add an intro with the music. Well, this video will show you how to do that very easily. So the first thing is we need to have a track in this project. So I'm going to just record something really quickly. You're listening to A Virtual Perception. I'm Darlene, your host, and welcome to episode 54. Okay, so I have track one. And now what I want to do is add another track to this project. And this second track that I'm going to be adding is going to be my music that I want in the background. So I would go to project import audio and import the music that I want to have in the background. And now I have track one, which is the audio track and track two, which is also an audio track, but it's the music track. So in audio in, in track one, it's myself speaking and in track two, it's the music. So now if we take a listen to this, Track one is going to be really, really low. And you won't be able to hear me speak. And track two is going to be loud. So let's take a listen. So you can't hear me speaking at all. So what we need to do here is raise the volume in the, aud in the speaking track and lower the volume just a bit in the music track. So simply go to the audio track tool area and raise the gain, the volume, a little bit. Then go to the music track and lower the gain just a little bit. And now let's rewind it, take a listen. You're listening to A Virtual Perception. I'm Darlene, your host, and welcome to episode 54. Okay, so now that's pretty much pretty good. So there are two or three other things that we can do here. If we wanted the music to start at a different time. So let's say we don't want the music to start right away. You're listening to a virtual... We want it to start towards the end of the audio. You take the time, time shift tool, go to the music track, and you can move it around. So you can have the music start whenever you want. So for those of you that listen to my podcast, at the end of the podcast, I always try to time the music to come on when I say until next time. This is Darlene Victoria Gonzalez signing out. This is how I do it. I shift the music around so it appears at exactly that particular point in time. So let's take a listen here. You're listening to A Virtual Perception. I'm Darlene, your host, and welcome to episode 54. So that is how you can use a time shift tool to have a particular audio track start at a particular point in time. I'm going to put it back, and I'm going to show you one other thing. You can fade out the audio, and it's a nice effect to do when you're transitioning from maybe one segment to a next to another in a podcast. So to fade out, there's two things I need to do here. First, I need to get rid of some of the music in this musical track. So I'm going to take my regular cursor tool, my selecting tool, go to the music track and select, I just, just eyeball it to a point where I just feel like I don't need all that music and select it all the way to the right. And then I'm going to delete it. And I can either use my delete button on my keyboard or the cut tool on the toolbar. So now I've cut down my music. And I have it to a point where I want it to start. Actually, I want to put it a little bit more there. Okay, so now I have my music where I want it to start. And now I want my music to fade out. So to fade out this music, I'm just going to select the end. Go to Effect, 
fade out. Now let's see what that did. You're listening to A Virtual Perception. I'm Darlene, your host, and welcome to episode 54. And that's it. There you have how to add music to an Audacity project or to your next audio production. I'm Darlene of D. Victoria Virtual Assistants. Thanks for watching.